Greetings everyone, welcome back to my Spyro 2 playthrough. Last time we just started off Horicus and now we're just going to carry on. Now we've defeated all the enemies in this level so far, so now we can use the supercharge ability to knock down these iron chests and these little windmills. Now I'm not sure if these windmills count towards the skill point that we've been working up on, but I'm just going to destroy them anyway. They're part of the level's design, so we pretty much have to destroy these ones and then press the green buttons behind them by either flaming them or charging into them. I prefer the flaming, so yeah, let the flame wars begin. Now I'm going to tell you guys, this part's going to be kind of short, like in comparison to the previous ones, uh, so I'll probably just get the rest of this level done by the end of the part. I'm not sure, I'll probably, it depends how quickly I do it actually. Because, yeah, like, um, I did a recording in this place, like, beforehand, and then it didn't go so well, so then I decided to re-record, but then I realized I had to play through the entire game again up to this point, just so I can get in the second take for you guys, so I hope you guys are happy. Jake did this all for you guys, so <laughs> thankfully I didn't have any homework, but yeah. Um, yeah, so if you make, like, a straight, sharp turn from the tunnel straight to that one, then you'll get it, so that that's all you have to do. There? The gear grinders are using it to steal our electricity. Please help us by shutting down the machinery inside. You know, I could help you. Then again, I could also just, you know, turn the game off and not do anything. But, you know what? Because this is for the playthrough. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How do I do that? Uh, yeah, so there Jake goes off again talking about his ramblings that make absolutely no sense to the human eye. But then again, the human ear is the part that actually senses any sound, so... Yeah, so um, pre basically you're pressing those green buttons to manage to slow down these fans that actually, you know, allow you to actually do any platforming on them. So yeah, make sure you press those green buttons, otherwise this part will be pretty impossible. But, yeah, even when them slow down, you can eventually just like become impatient and, you know, fall down. So yeah, make sure you actually take your time doing this. Spyro, you've done well so far. You can have this little trinket for good luck. If you have any questions about shutting down the factory, just ask me. Okay, so you basically get an orb for getting up to this point in the stage, but this isn't even the full mission that the first guy sent you on, so what's the point of this orb? The next glides get tricky. You'll have to use your hover maneuver to make them. Press the triangle button during a glide to hover and get extra height. Oh, wow. Like, we didn't know about hovering already. I kind of got distracted, though, because I saw myself in the mirror and I was like, whoa, check you handsome little devil. Anyway, so, because I am impatient, I'm just going to, like, speed run through this place, even though I told you guys not to. But you know what? Jake is in the hands of a professional, which is uh, Janusz, the guy playing, but Jake is the guy... Oh, whoa, there's my skill point. Jake is the guy, you know, kind of talking through all of this, so... It's kind of like uh, my alter ego. I, I like referring to Jake as a third person, because, you know... It just makes it all the more special. So that's all the gems for this level, and here's the giant red button. Now the guy outside is actually scared to go in here, but you won't get damaged or anything Thanks if you go in there, so don't worry. Factory. Here, I found this stuck between the gears. You can... Okay, so what is it? It's an orb. How the hell did an orb get stuck there? I have no idea. Wait, let's let's play a little tone. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I missed out on that little tone. So yeah, we might as well just exit the level. I found out you can still play those cutscenes after use exiting from the pause menu. Let's just see what this cutscene has to offer. Yeah, I'm kind of backing away from the camera because I have to scratch my foot. And what's this? A three-minute video? Oh hell no! Okay, I've got to I've got to start from another place. What was I thinking? A three-minute video? Jake is off the wall today. Yeah, so it took me about 45 minutes to actually reach up to that point. So. I did about four parts and three parts, so that's pretty good actually. I did something kind of similar with my Spyro 1 playthrough in the beginning, so hopefully that's the only time I actually have to, you know, repeat myself. So, Sunny Beach, now this will probably line up my mood even more than it already is. And Sunny Beach is kind of like a water based level, so make sure you know how to swim. You can't really get far if you don't know how to swim, so actually you have to know how to swim in order to get to this point. So, these are little bad guys of the place. I don't know what they are, to be honest. They kind of look like blue shrimps, but I don't know. And for some reason, I, th I think they go by the name Gary. <laughs> Mainly because they look like this kid at school that I used to know called Gary. Like, the, the, it was like the, he's a short little Indian kid, and like, he always used to say everything like really quickly. And it made me laugh. Like, instead of saying chalk, he said chalk. <laughs> uh, little old Gary. Hey, Spyro. It's a good thing you're here. If you can help shepherd those baby turtles over there to safety, I'll be mighty grateful. Why do I sound like the teenager from The Simpsons? I don't know, maybe it's the same voice actor, but I don't know. 
Uh, I doubt it's the same voice actor actually. Anyway, so these turtles basically you punch them, kick them, screw in the nuts, whatever you want. Just get them onto the switches so they can do the, your, your bidding for you and that's pretty much what you have to do. And throughout the level you'll come across these crates with like a little tur turtle face on them. And all you have to do is just come by with the temporary power up that you'll find later on this level after killing enough enemies. And, oh, dude, please. I don't want to get into saying dude all over again. And yeah, so there are basically like six of them throughout the entire level, if I remember correctly. And that's a window up there that you can't really break. So we just destroyed a little Gary. So. Hopefully that'll be the title of this video, just, you know, Gary. Plain old Gary. And if, you know, I might actually send that video to him. Like, uh, he was in a lot of my classes during, like, GCSE time. And then when I moved into sixth form, he moved off into Canada. So, you know what, Gary? I miss you. This is a little... Like, special message from me to you. Oh, well, but enough about that guy. <laughs> On with the game itself, man. What is Jake talking about? Oh, I have no idea. Um, yeah. So, these, <laughs> these are ducks with spatulas. What the hell? Uh, I really do like the enemy design this, in this game. It's just so damn funny and off the wall. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so, up there is like a place that you can only reach with a ladder, so... Make sure you come back to this level later on once you've learned how to climb. There are two missions, like this is one mission later on this level that has a gift of like two orbs because it has like an easy easy part of it and then a hard part of it. And it's actually a pretty funny uh, little side quest but you know because Sparrow doesn't know how to use these little ladder things then you know what, he can't do it today. So this turtle you have to actually push twice and for some reason it's not going in the way I want it to so come on. You fat lazy turtle, get some exercise down on you. Thank you, there we go. And don't worry, those kids won't get harmed going through the level, so just let them run through and they'll, they'll get through by themselves very fine. And so this is the little power portal, so make sure you come back here once you have killed 11 hopeless, you know, harmless enemies. Yeah. What's the, what's the word I'm looking for though? Yeah, uh, I don't know. And uh, my piece is going very loud. The water workers have boxed up most of our baby turtles. The boxes are incredibly strong. With a more powerful flame breath, maybe you could break them open and release the turtles. Oh, damn, my PC is so damn loud. Yeah, it's still during the time of the heat wave, so I, I think the heat wave is actually going over tonight, so tomorrow they'll actually be like a back to regular temperatures again, so finally getting down to winter. I mean, this country is just so damn screwed up with this weather. Yeah, so down there you can, I'm pretty sure you can actually get there by gliding and hovering, but I've only actually ever been able to do it once, so I'm not going to go try it again. I mean, what I just did there was pretty much the only trial I'll ever have in this, so, you know, sorry about that. Jake doesn't want to waste your time anymore, at all. Um, yeah, so now we can actually go to use that little power thing, uh, power up. And look, it's a super flame, I think that's actually what it's called. And I'll show you guys what it does as soon as I get to the end of the level, I'll backtrack, like, the end of the level's right through here, so it's kind of a short level to be honest, and looks like I will be able to fit in a huge, regular themed um, episode today, about 15 minutes long, I'm not really taking advantage of my uh, move or the time limit, but There's who cares. There's a chef at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our baby turtles, if you know how to climb, you could get up there and stop him. Oh, there my PC goes again, damn it, it just keeps, in, it just keeps interrupting me, I mean, what the hell? Oh, whoa, there it goes again. <laughs> it has a mind of its own. Alright, so there we go. Hopefully the PC won't distract me anymore. If it does, then I'll probably get gonna have to, you know, cut the part short. I mean, it's only being loud because it's overheating, so as soon as the temperature goes back to normal in this country, then everything should be happy dandy fine. So, there we go. That's pretty much the end of the level there. So, let me just kill these enemies around here. And... That's pretty much all we have to do, just and uh, get the super flame to get those uh, destroy those boxes. And so this box here, and it doesn't matter which order you do them in, like or how long you might take, just as long as you know where they all are and actually get to destroying them all. Uh, the only temporary thing is the power up itself, so you only have a limited amount of time to actually Thank destroy you, as many as you can. The baby turtles will be safe up here. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, did he even say thank you? I don't know. It's just a turtle stuck on a golden plate. What the hell? Ugh. Damn it. The designers of this game were just not thinking with that. <laughs> no, just kidding. Alright, so 
on with the super flame. So let's just uh, speed run away down there. Oh, Sparrow, you're going the wrong way. Um, dude. So here's the super flame. The first one that I'm going to get is down here. Basically, all you have to do is step on the switch and then fire down there. You can use the triangle to get a first person thing. And out come like a bunch of turtles that have like a whole bunch of hearts around them. So I don't know if they're making love as soon as they found freedom. I, I sure as hell would. I sure as hell would. Like, you know, if I was free for the entire day, I would just make love to a bunch of other jakes that look exactly the same. So anyway, stop wasting my time. I have to get to this uh, crate that's all the way through here. Oh wait, there's seven of them. Oh man, is my face red. I thought there were six. Alright, so where's the next one? Yeah, underwater, they turn into like these uh, blue flakes, which I find pretty cool. But, you know, that's not the high point in this game. <laughs> There's little blue flakes. No, 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 no. It's all about the boxes. Alright, so let's get a super flame thing again, and probably one more time after that. It doesn't actually last all that long, so hopefully... Oh, oh I missed the gem. What the hell? Um, okay, so... Uh, gems here. Alright, there's a box there. Let's destroy that. Uh, get the gems here, and then destroy that. And I'm going to go back for another refill, the super flame, so that I can go back to the beginning of the level where there was like another one under water. So, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys remember which one I'm talking about, so I don't sound forever alone. And as soon as I get that, I'll probably finish the video to show you guys the ending cutscene of the level. So, did I miss anything? Yes, I missed another gem. What's wrong with me today? Today it's just all about, you know, Jake missing his gems. I mean, what the hell? They're so bright and shiny. How can I miss them? Right now? What the hell's going on? Okay, so there we go. Impressive. Yeah, that's all of them. Most impressive. Please take this sacred uh thingamajig as a token of our everlasting gratitude. Thingamajig, that's my saying. That's what I always say. Oh, you guys should know that by now. Okay, so that's all we can do for this level for right now. So let's just exit, watch the ending cutscene, mm. and then I'll lead you guys out of the video. You know, holding your hand down the street. Oh, look at that! You just sent him to drown. And again. Oh wait, but turtles can swim, so it's alright. So this is enemies working with good characters. Oh, he's being blackmailed. So like, you know, if you don't do this, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> okay, so that's how the game works in humor. So yeah, that's all I can really fit in for this part. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and goodbye.